let's start with Rocket Lab because that one has taken a 12.5% dive. Market just uh, closed and uh, wow, 12.5%. So th the news on Rocket Lab is that it basically is raising $750 million through the sale of uh, additional stock. And the way the market is re viewing this news is that there's going to be a 3% dilution and therefore very bad. Um, but of course, as a Rocket Lab fan uh, and, and uh, somebody who believes that the future of uh, space is going to be owned by these companies like SpaceX and Rocket Lab, uh, I'm very, very optimistic and bullish on this news because it gives basically Rocket Lab that runway it needs and the additional capital it needs for ad additional acquisitions to continue to sort of like build up their Neutron rocket, which is a reusable rocket that's upcoming. So. My view is that the market's reaction to this news is extremely dumb, uh, is, is a more solid company that is better funded, uh, worth more or less, you know, than, than it right. was yesterday. And obviously a company that's far more likely to succeed and survive as it's still burning cash a little bit, not much, but by the way, it's annual cash burn run rate is roughly 120 million or so, but, um, but it might even accelerate that uh, cash burn uh, because it has access to more of it. And therefore, future investments are going to come about uh, faster. And, uh, you know, this is exactly the same playbook that SpaceX did. So imagine, for example, if SpaceX, each time it raised like a billion dollars of additional funding, the, 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 uh, Investors viewed it as a negative thing, and therefore SpaceX's valuation went down instead of up. Uh, and of course, in the private markets, people are smarter, and uh, that has not been the case. SpaceX continues to have record valuations each time it raises additional funding, not not a lower valuation. So, you know, Rocket Lab is in a fantastic position. Their Neutron is uh, is coming up. They're continuing to execute really well. They're competing for all these projects, including possibly getting a uh, Mars uh, Mars project that could be worth billions, uh, Mars return project, as well as communications project for Mars. Uh, and yeah, the, the future of space is just growing and accelerating, and they're in the right position at the right time. So... Uh, the other that's, piece of that's this, my view. No, it, yeah. It's a very smart time for them to do this, being that the stock is at all-time highs, right? Yeah, if exactly. A, if they were doing it a year ago when the stock was $7, it would be more than that 3% dilution. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So uh, this, is, this is pretty incredible. I mean, it, in my view, it's like fantastic. In fact, I was talking about them potentially doing a you know, 500 million to a billion dollar raise when the stock hit like roughly 20 to $25 a share. And they kind of wait, they were patient enough to wait for it to <laughs> yeah, be much higher than that. Um, anyway, so quite excited about that.